Hello everyone, it's me, Lockdown, with yet another Final Fantasy VI Let's Play video. So, uh, last time we left off after, right after we uh, had found Terra at the top of that tower in Zozo. So right now, our intrepid party it needs to find a method to get to the Empire, at the advice of Ramu the Esper, to go and save the other Espers that are being held captive there. And so that's where our, we are at in the story right now. And again, for anyone who's joining for the first time, making these videos for my buddy Michael so that he can enjoy the game without doing any of the work. No, I did not forget to say that. I will always say that in every video. <laughs> Just a side note, on another quest I'm doing, I found out this simple little exploit you can do. Where, uh... Where you take one of your characters. Not, sorry, let me explain that more appropriately. What you do is... You go, there's a save point really early in the game, in the Caves of Narsh, where you saw right before we fought the snail dude. And what you do there is you save there, and then you just keep playing through the game without ever saving again. And then you die, deliberately. You die on Poipus. And the reason you do that is so that you can come, when you die, you keep whatever experience you gain. Not any spells or anything, but just the experience that you gain. And therefore the levels that you gain. So I'm trying to make it so I come back as level 99 and play the whole game through at level 99. It's stupid, it's fun, it's something I'm really never tried, can't wait to give to go. But needless to say, to get to the enemies that actually give deal enough damage to make that worthwhile, it takes forever. There's a part later in the game where there's a, the dinosaur forest, and that's the best place that I you know of to to do the leveling level grinding that you'd need to. Well, what do I know? I'm just a scrub. Anyway, so uh. Just want to mention that this will be the opera sequence. So I am going to sing along, and I may. I currently do not have the microphone that I intended to use to do this, but uh, I'm probably going to sing along anyway. So please just endure whatever it is. I will try to sing in a way that doesn't clip the microphone, but we'll see how that goes. Or, who knows, maybe I'll just edit it once I actually get the microphone you guys will never know the difference. <laughs> so why don't you guys die? There we go. Okay, so this is where this starts. Jador. This is Judor, the westernmost town on the world map. Eh, we can do weaponry later. Chocobo stable. More weaponry and in. I'm gonna be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh, you don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. The only way to reach the Empire now is by air. Of course, you need an airship for that. What, did you think I was going to suggest launching yourself from a catapult? Are you daft? Marie the famous opera diva is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they're not doing that. Today's auction is over. Later on you can go and do auctions there. So this is supposed to be the ritzy town. I don't know if there's really a way to determine that, but it's supposed to be. Let's see... Nah, nothing of interest here.
couple of those relics activate as soon as you hit critical health, which is, I think, like, 7-10% of your full health? I don't remember. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. So this might be a long video, but I'm gonna do it all in one go. Maria? Um, me? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we're really in trouble this time. Celeste looks like Maria? Sassy pose. And what's great is if you switch characters in the lead, does their respective animations. I like Edgar's the best. Anyway, so then you move and... You're the spinning image of Maria. Huh? You haven't heard of her, you say? She's a famous opera singer. Hmm. That man must have dropped this. Maestro. That man is the director of the troupe that performs at the opera house. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Tizzy? I just like that word. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you. The Wandering Gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-face? Were you born on a farm, son? Again, voices will not be consistent. Inconsistent voices will not be consistent. gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality aboard his ship, the Blackjack. <laughs> so, you probably won't get this, but uh, I almost said Bebop there, because I was just watching a Cowboy Bebop video, and that's what their ship is called, the Bebop. Anyway, Setzer. That would be Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Yeah. And Setzer has a really good theme song. He actually makes a cameo in Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't think any of the other Final Fantasy VI characters do, although maybe Edgar. Oh wait, we got a Chocobo stall here. Might as well use it. Skip some fights. When that girl said, way to the south, she wasn't joking. Chocobo rides for 250 kilo pop. Oh, freak. Wrong button. Wrong button. Sir, we had such a good time riding your chocobo for one second that we want to do it again. Okay. I'm holding the correct button this time. Maybe I'll just overlay the Samba de Chocobo, because I like it better. I think that's the one. Whatever one's in Final Fantasy IV I really like. Ooh, I changed positions of characters there. Heaven forbid. Ah, it's you again! We read the letter, so Setzer's coming to snatch Maria away? You'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. <sighs> Alright, when he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no! You'll ruin the performance! I'll lose my job! But if you don't do anything... Oh, this is simply horrible. I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. Oh, heaven forbid. Let him grab her. We'll use a decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. And if all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it.
peeks over at Celeste. Are you mad? If anything should happen to Maria... That's why we use the decoy! We can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again? You said Celeste looks like Maria, right? Now, just a minute! She could be our Maria. We'll let Sensor kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! This is how he expressed shock and dismay in this game with standing up and down, little side movements. Hold on here! I'm a former general, not some opera floozy! As demonstrated by her dramatic exit. Me. Me. Del Rey me fa. <coughs> Maria! Sorry for everyone's ears on that one. That's the spirit! Well, I got my own little surprise plan for y'all. Just like Sitzer. It'll be tons of fun. Why is the octopus A out of water, B here to get revenge, and C capable of writing notes? I don't know. Just Final Fantasy VI. It's both a serious game and a humorous one, and I love it for both. Better get to work. We gotta make a star out of you, Celeste. And we're gonna read. And for the record, I think the music for the opera is really amazing too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sing over where the, I think the lyrics would be. And again, I'm glad we have the Game Boy Advance version that we're playing and emulating, rather than the Super Nintendo, because the translation I think is better. Makes more sense, more cohesive, I guess you could say, more sensible. But entre la stage. And I apologize for any theater kid who knows what an actual good statement, and I just totally ruined that. The wall between the East and the West. Oh, I forgot. Was growing more violent by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. check on things in the dressing room. Oh, I hope this works. Go on, give us go on, give us some encouragement. Hey, why is everyone singing? Ah, sobbing. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be taking this way too seriously because I think this is such a good part of the game. I love it. Uh, 16-bit blushing. Have you always been that pretty? Lock? 
Why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. Am I just a replacement for her? That ribbon looks nice on you. I have to go on stage soon. The next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry that something happened to Draco and pours her feelings into a song. Shouldn't you check the score one last time? Now, technically I don't need to. But it's been a long time since I played the game, so... And you do have to pick the correct ones. Oh, my hero, my beloved, shall we be made to part through promises of perennial love yet sing here in my heart? I'm the darkness, you're the starlight. Prayers of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows make sure... Okay, easy enough. Okay, I'm not going to sing it in her octave, so just accept that I'm just going to be down an octave. The Western armies were defeated, and Maria's castle fell into the hands of the East. Forced to wed the Eastern Prince Ralts, Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night. Oh my hero, my beloved, shall we still be made to part? Through promises of perennial love, yet sing here in my heart. Darkness, you're the starlight shining brightly from afar. Hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Was my final vows exchanged? Draco is based off of, uh, I forget his name for Final Fantasy IV. Come, Maria, dance with me! Yeah, I have to walk around and follow him. Rawls is looking for his dance partner. Please, leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now.
Apple Slice. Frankly, it's just a beautiful song. I mean, the 16-bit singing is amusing to say the least, but I don't know. I've always had a great imagination, so for me it was amusing to enjoy that. I owe you guys one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera, Ultros. Uh oh, better tell the impresario. What? Cue dramatic change in music. Because the events on the stage apparently associate with what's happening in real life. The West has survived his attack! Impossible! Attack! Excellent stage fighting. Wait! Western horn, you would address my queen to be Maria. Michelle, you have Maria's hand. I would die before that day comes. Then it's a duel. Whew. Let's try to sing quietly while doing that. It's really hard. But how is he planning to disrupt the opera? With that? <laughs> Let's see if Maria can shrug this off. Yeah, this is heavier than I thought. It's gonna take me five minutes to push this thing off. Hence in game timer of five minutes. We have a second to lose. Talk to the stagehand of the room to the right. He'll help you get up there. Leave it to us. Eh, I want lock and machine. And no, the timer doesn't stop for menus. But I just want them. I think a good time on this in a speedrun is like getting it done with still under the four minute mark. That's like super good RNG and stuff. Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch any of the others. Let's see. They each do something different. That one does a dog bark. That turns the lights off and delay makes the timer go down for all this time. It's just amusing. And my personal favorite is the one that falls drops you on the stage. Yes, I can't go off the stage right, so or yeah, stage right, so just jump over the audience. You know, no big deal. <gasps> okay, now we can go save Maria. I mean Celeste, Celestria, whatever. Yeah, I give up. Yeah, I should have plenty of time. Keyword being should. And I love the intense music for the entire duration of this sequence. Yep, RNG is not going to be nice to me. Oh, you're freaking kidding me. That's just brutal. So the concern here is the gold one in the middle, well, usually in the middle, is off to the side for right now. Okay, I should just do regular attack with him. Gold one can call teammates. It's like that. So you have to make sure you clear him out. Goodness, this is getting hard. <laughs> so, uh, who knows? I might fail this and we'll have to do Opera Day 2. I never actually failed this, I don't know what happens. I've failed on the sequence where you're singing, and it just starts the opera over, and you've got two more tries, and then it's a game over if you mess up. Are you kidding me? Give me the items! Sheesh. Eh, 
I wish I had smoke bombs, because then I could do this a little bit faster. That's great, great, great. Let's level up to nice. Let's move. Nope. He's not going to keep going down. Ah, another back attack. Or pincer attack, whatever. There, okay. Ooh, that was a lot less stressful than I thought it had to be. Ha! Oh, rats! Oh, yeah, put up your nose. Put them up! Oh, crap. Donation on physics! I have no idea how Celeste knew to move out of the way. And for three full grown men and a giant octopus to fall off the catwalk. Oh, no! This will never do! With those two flattened, there's no one to win the go! That's what you're worried about. How can this story possibly continue? Uh, um. Neither Draco nor Ralts will win Celeste's hand. It is I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, who shall take her as my wife. Oh dear, what dreadful acting. Silence, knave! You stand in the presence of octopus royalty. A low-born thief like you could never defeat me. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Might as well make the most of this music. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it's me again. Long time no see. Did you miss me? No, no, not at all. Come on, go to drill. Ah, crap! Used acid rain. This is one of the annoying fights. Of course, you only use it on that side, so that makes it a little bit more manageable. Oh, I'm glad I used that potion. Thankfully, blitzes don't miss, so being blinded doesn't do anything. What it again! I feel like such a sucker! Well, kids, hey, Dean can run, but I am an octopus! Obtained two gil. It's worth two gil that time. <laughs> Hold it right there. My compliments are the most impressive performance. Set, sir! I'm a man of my word, impresario. I'm taking Maria. <laughs> Unforeseen twists at every turn! Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Setzer instead! What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back and see part two! I feel like the announcer from Legend of Korra. And I don't know why, but the orchestra apparently knows Setzer's theme song and plays it as soon as he shows him. Like, did he pay him off beforehand? Because he just got so much cooler if that's what he did. Like, you guys, play my theme as soon as I show up. Don't worry, I'll give you plenty of attention later. Playing the part of a helpless... Captee? And then the wink. Because, come on guys, this is General Celeste. Rope sound effect. What a performance! You're a great fake actress, Celeste. Enough! But the real show starts now. It's time for Act 2. Where's Setzer? He should be right back. But what? What are you doing in here? You're not Maria, are you? Setzer, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. Your ship is the only... If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. Wait! We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world. 
And Matt, you were the world's greatest gambler. I'm the King of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. Come with me. Then you'll... Don't misunderstand me. I still haven't said I'll help you yet. So that's my dad calling. Hmm, business has been awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire's been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing the magic tech power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire, until recently. Maybe you want to be a slave to the Empire, but I sure don't. We're at least together and hated the Empire, right? So, please? No, I think you may even be cuter than Maria. Huh? Alright, if you... If Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Locke doesn't have the hots for her or anything. Fine. Great, it's settled. But I have some conditions. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? Ha! I like it! I accept! Celeste, are you serious? If you marry that guy... Ready? Heads, I win. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double-headed coin before. That coin! Edgar, don't tell me! So... I'm just going to pause right there for a sec. That was the same coin that Edgar flipped that led Sobin to side his fate. If you recall the scenario, or the, the cutscene, it said, Edgar comes up and says, Here, we'll flip this coin. It's one that Dad gave me. Heads, you win. Tails, I win. Whoever wins gets to pick their path. The other person gets to go wherever. Or the other person... The, the winner gets to pick their path. The other gets to choose It's what's left. No hard feelings. So he deliberately rigged it, just so that Sobin wouldn't feel guilty in leaving. He put it so that his his twin brother would be free. Oh, I love you, Edgar! <laughs> I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. That's part of the game now, isn't it? Ha! How low can you stoop? I love it! Alright, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire with nothing to lose but my life? I haven't felt so excited in years. My life's a chip in your pile. And yep! I think one of the things I love about this game is that the characters are so believable. Like, Setzer has a crazy backstory just like all the rest of these guys do. I can't believe this clunky old thing can fly. You sure it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards and fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air from miles away if we try to fly this thing into the Empire. We better land a safe distance away. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. And as we head to the Empire... Another thing I love about this game is, besides the fact that it's... It's got some of the best music and the best play. It's also got some of the best world dynamics. Uh, it's a pseudo-modern world. I don't know, there's some sort of book style that's similar to it. But it's steampunk, essentially. Steampunk and magic. Like, this guy has a freaking floating ship. Flying ship. We don't technically have flying ships in our modern world. At least none that fly in the same way that this does. A Zeppelin that that does what it does, you know? Flying ships are a staple of this game. Okay. So, 
think that's where we'll cut it off for this video. But I hope you enjoyed the opera. It's one of the fan favorite games, fan favorites of the sequence. I watched uh, AGDQ last summer, and they played this game, and it was great because they had incentive to make everyone sing the parts. And so they, we raised enough money, like, I don't know, it was $6,000, $8,000 to, to get them to, probably less than that, more like 5000 or 4000 to get them to sing along with it, and they were all embarrassed, it was great. Me, I just do it because I love the song, it's amazing. But yeah, this is where we'll call it quiz for the night, and alright, Michael, it's always fun showing you these games, and to everyone else, see you in the next video!